What's up guys? It's Louise. Welcome back to my channel. So I am finally back with a new video. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how much I spent in a month as a student at home and taking online classes. So I think mas marami akong nagagastos collectively kapag um, uh, through this setting on, in an online setting since hindi naman ako everyday gumagastos pero kapag gumagastos ako which is like you know, twice, thrice a week medyo mahirap kasi as in isang bongga ka na purchase unlike yung face to face almost every single day pero small purchases lang as in basic necessities like food and other stuff. So yeah, I think medyo mas shock lang ako sa result na tong video na to and I would be more sensitive and be be more careful towards my purchases. But before anything else, don't forget to like this video, comment for more suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe down to my channel and click the notification bell right beside it for you to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's get started. So, yung napili kong duration for this video is from May 5 to June 5, 2021. Since, dun ko nga nakita na marami akong nagasos and I just want to share with you guys lahat ng mga pagkakamali ko. Char! Pero yeah, dito ko nakita since I have like 17 transactions online and all of it are online. Wala akong ginagastos, physical. Unless may pinadeliver ako online na cash and delivery which is very rare. Since gusto ko talaga, when I get my packages, bayad na para contactless delivery na lang. I'll just give a tip to the delivery rider. So yeah, let's get on to the purchases. So on May 5, I bought something. Oh, that's the 5-5 sale on Shopee. So I bought um, stuff on Shopee for 727 pesos. Which I bought KF94 masks and a tripod. The tripod which I'm using right now. I needed a new tripod kasi, kasi yung dati kong tripod, as in, regular tripod lang siya, so it's very bulky, as in, sturdy siya yung bulky, pero kasi sabi ko, nahirapan na ako, kasi parang ka, need ko pa siya iset up tuwing nag-film ako and everything, eh etong nakuha ko, parang it's very handy, as in, half the size lang siya, tapos ang dali lang niya iset up, plus may ring light pa siya, so yeah, I bought it, so nabudol na naman akong Shopee. So moving on to May 6, I ordered something on Food Panda which is worth 589 pesos which is Mang Inasal. So yung 589 pesos na yun, para sa aming lahat na yun. So nang day na to, nag-crave kasi ako ng Mang Inasal kasi nanonood ako Instagram stories ko with my friends noon and yun na, nag-crave ang Mang Inasal so I ordered. We got um, their chicken and their bangu sisi. Sarap. And na miss ko yung soup. Sadly, nung time na yun, wala pa silang available na soup for sale, for delivery. So yeah, na miss ko talaga. Kasi yung soup nila, it's like the sinigang broth na punong-puno ng tamarind talaga. Like pure tamarind. So soup, sobrang asik talaga niya. Sarap. Next transaction is on May 7, which was through GCash. I paid 50 pesos for a request of my grades. So gusto ko lang kasi makita yung grades ko sa school. As in, I request ko yung grades from freshman up to the current, which was at that time, was the first semester of my third year college. Moving on to May 9, which was Mother's Day. Um, may sorry lang to, dapat ang marami kaming i-order since yung know, Mother's Day may event. Pero so sobrang daming taong dependent and reliant na sa um, online delivery platforms. Ang dami talagang stores na since midnight pa lang ng May 8, sarado na sila. They don't offer their services already because of, due to the um, demand of the customers since my big event nga. So, nung time we were only able to get um, ice cream from Food Panda worth 164 pesos and 50 cents from 7-Eleven. So, yeah, that's what we got on that day. On May 12, um, I got something from Grab Food worth 567 pesos which was a Dunkin Donuts um, birthday treat for Gia, my friend. So, sana hindi siya nanonood para hindi niya alam yung pressure. Pero yeah, yun yung worth. Um, then on May 14, I paid 599 pesos to Globe for my data plan. Since nakalign na ko, I have a postpaid plan. Then I paid Kuya, my older brother, 2,600 pesos for my mobile plan for this phone plan. So yeah, I'm still paying for this phone. Yeah, mm. Then on May 15, 
um, I purchased something from Shopee worth 210 pesos. Ang tactic ko kasi, I don't buy anything on Shopee kapag walang event. Kasi kapag walang event, walang free shipping vouchers and discounts. So, uh, tinataon ko talaga yung mga purchases ko tuwing may event. Since mas mura din yung items, usually, kapag mga ganung time. So, uh, ang mga events kasi nila, it's either 5566, five, six, yung mga ganung um, timestamps then payday sales so tuwing 15 or by the end of the month pero um yung by the end of the month ginagawa na rin nila nung yung monthly timestamps i bought masks for my nana which my which is my lola um kasi yung regular facial masks para sa kanya is malaki since she has a, a smaller face structure so yung regular na face mask medyo malaki at nagkakaroon ng loophole dito so which is not very safe so I got a kid size face mask for her um, in black and blue para you know matching sa outfits niya so yeah I got that for her and I also got phone cases for my mom and I then on May 16 which was Shopee again I bought something worth 428 pesos <laughs> Oh, I bought more masks, so yeah. So, super stock na kami sa mask. Then, on May 19, which was Shopee again, um, I bought something worth 411 pesos, which was... Oh. I bought 411 pesos um, worth of face shields, so yeah. I bought face shields just to be prepared and everything. Then on May 21, I have a lot of transactions on this day. So yeah, bear with me. So the first transaction is for grab food worth 554 pesos, which was 24 chicken, which I bought for my friend Kate since at that day, they delivered a bike which my kuya ordered from them. So I just returned the favor and let her and her family try 24 chicken. Since yung radius and the distance of the restaurant does di siya umaabot sa, sa kanila. Then the second transaction for May 21 is also grab food, which was our lunch uh, worth 533 pesos, which was from Chow King. So na crave kasi akong Chinese food. Eh, at that time, parang sobrang last minute ng lunch namin. It's, it's around like 1.30. So sabi ko, eh di fast food na lang since yung nagugutom na rin kami. So yeah, we ordered um, Chinese food since we were craving then. Then the third and final transaction for May 21 is from Food Panda. Nag-crave din kasi ako. Dami kong cravings, no? Tapos puro pagkain. Ang gastos ko. Uh, which was from Food Panda worth 116 pesos and 10 cents. Which was, I bought Magnum. Belgian chocolate ice cream popsicle. Yeah. F super favorite ko yun. Super favorite ko yung almond. But once they released the vegan and the dairy-free, oh, super sarap din. Then on May 22, which was Food Panda once again, worth 335 pesos, uh, we bought Serenity since at that time na budol ako. Ayaw ko talaga binubuksan yung Food Panda app eh, kasi, uh, and, syempre, ang babungod siya, ang daming deals. And at that time, may buy one take one deal ang Serenity. So we so we tried and ordered. And, ang sarap. Tapos yun pa yung time na bagong release yung collection ng packaging nila, which was Barbie. Sobrang nagustuhan ko talaga yung packaging. Wala lang. Ang cute lang ng Barbie and parang subtle message lang ng Serenity that the future is female. Then on May 26, Food Panda once again worth 120 pesos which was Turks which is like a kind of shawarma. Super favorite ko siya lalo na kapag spicy. Tapos may mga veggies and everything. Yum. Then on that same day, Food Panda also worth 149 pesos from Auntie Anne's. Ito ata yung promo nila na yung cream cheese sticks trio nila for only 190 pesos. So, syempre, nabudol na naman kami. And we love, love, love Auntie Anne's. Uh, that promo includes the original, the cinnamon, and the almond. Super sarap. So, I think sulit naman. Why am I justifying my purchases? Oh my gosh. Then, on May 29, Food Panda once again. Puro pagkain talaga gastos ko. Oh my God. So, Food Panda on May 29 worth 523 pesos. We bought SNR fried chicken. So, we recently just tried SNR's fried chicken. Super sarap niya. And their gravy. Sobrang mura lang nung add on gravy. 6 pesos lang per. I don't know how much of an ounce yung extra gravy nila. Pero 6 pesos lang. 
And yun nga, masarap din yung timpla ng fried chicken na. So, you guys should try it if you have the chance. Then, on May 31st, last day of May, um, grab food again, worth 449 pesos, we ordered Starbucks. Tagal na rin namin hindi nag-Starbucks since in the past previous years, as in sobrang dalas namin mag-Starbucks. Pero kasi, yung coffee, um, nag-trigger siya ng acidity ko. So, like, uh, hindi na talaga siya pwede for me on an everyday basis, ganun. Pero sobrang gasos din kung nags-Starbucks everyday. So, at that time, may promo din kasi sila about their Tivana collection. Then, on June 2, which was grab food, oh, pagkain na naman, why am I surprised? Oh, grab food worth 859 pesos. Okay, guys, don't be shocked. Ako medyo mahal. Pero this was the time we tried Angel's Pizza. Sobrang sarap, guys. As in, sinasabi ko na sa inyo, na-try ko yung pizza overload, which is mga sarap. If bet na bet, may mga everything on it pizza. Then we tried the TikTok famous and actually social media famous pizza. Yung creamy spinach dip. Na pizza nila super sarap and super creamy ng cream cheese tas samahan mo pa ng spinach ah sarap talaga tapos ang gustong gusto ko talaga kahit mahal kaya nasusulitan ako sa Angel's Pizza kasi uh, it arrived like an hour early before our lunch time talaga pero uh, nung after nung one hour wait na yun na nasa table lang yung pizza hindi pa siya makunat which normally yung mga commercial pizzas are makunat na after an hour kapag hindi pa nakain ka agad. So, like, na-shock na talaga ako. Tapos, of course, may mga natira kami kasi yung overload, pati yung spinach, medyo heavy talaga sa chan. So, um, nagkaroon kami leftover. Kasi siguro, after a day and a half pa namin nakain yung as in, naubos namin yung pizza itself, hindi talaga siya, ano, kumukunat. As in, ma makikita mo talaga na hantos, na fresh talaga yung dough na ginamit. So, yan. Sulit, you guys should try it. Then on June 4, okay, malapit-lapit na tayo. Second to the last day. June 4, grab food again. Siyempre, worth 568 pesos. Uh, we got um, ice cream from Selecta. So, at that time, nagkikrave ata si Mami ng ice cream. We got coffee crumble, cookies and cream. And for me, I got Magnum since it's my favorite talaga. Then on June 5, which is the final day of the duration. Ay, salamat. Shopee, siyempre, <laughs> kasi magkakaroon na ng 6-6 sale the next day, which is June 6. So, nung June 5, nag-top up ako ng 2,800 pesos for the 6-6 mid-year sale. Nag-top up ako ng ganun kalaki since marami kami yung bibili needed for the house. Okay guys, so that ends all of my transactions between May 5 to June 5. So that's a whole month. Hindi ko in-expect na aabot ng ganito for a month's duration. So for the grand total of all of my transactions between May 5 to June 5, the total is 12,892.6 centavos. Hmm. Okay, so ang laki pala nun. Hindi ko in-expect na aabot ng ganun kalaki yung mga ino-order ko. Pero, yeah, I mean, it's a learning experience na, na I should be more sensitive and careful towards my purchases online. Lalo na yung mga cravings ko, food cravings, just ko. I think, temptation talaga kapag pupunta ko ng grab ng food panda na app. As in, kapag makita lang ng promo, as in, order na kagad yun, which is not practical. So, yeah. Um, after learning the total, I would be more careful already towards my purchases. Kung may time kayo, i-total nyo din lahat ng online purchases nyo. I'm sure masyashock din kayo. Unless hindi ka talaga nag-online shopping. So yeah, good for you. Sana all. But yeah, I guess that concludes my video. But if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, comment for more suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe down to my channel and click the notification bell right beside it for you to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget to follow my Instagram to get real-time updates from me. And that's it guys. I love you guys so much. Keep safe. And again, I'm Luis. Peace. Bye! Now I'm picking up by the cottage room blues. Yeah, I wanna drown myself inside the drool.